hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with a brand new show this is my reaction to shikimori's not just a cutie or kawaii dake janai shikimori san episode one all right uh this is a brand new show and uh like you know for once this is one anime or manga that i've actually not read um so i've, I've seen this manga a lot but i've actually not read it so i have no idea what this is about uh, I, I read the summary it, it's like you know it's talking about like a girl called shikimori who like you know who whose boyfriend is like you know like shikimori is always kind of cool but uh like you know whenever there's some rare moments where she shows her original feelings or something that's when uh like you know the the boyfriend really likes or something like that i think like so it's it's like you know it's it's interesting because uh like you know the summary says that we we know that these two are actually in a relationship from the beginning so i'm kind of curious as to how this is going to play out usually like you know like shows uh we see like both uh the boy and the girl the hero and the heroine meet then like you know one season two season five season later they like finally confess and that they, it takes even more time for them to start dating like you know this is what it usually goes so it, it'll be interesting to see like a couple who is already a couple from the beginning of the you know uh, show so i'm kind of uh, like you know, interested to see how this is going to go so yeah let's check this out uh, this is called shikimori is not just a cutie this is episode number one and yeah, let's get started. So I'll bring the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. Right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay, the you is the name of the guy. Yeah, is that the mom? Okay. Or is that the sister? It's the mom. It's the mom. <laughs> yeah. There you go, that's the mom. Okay, the, the parents also know. The parents also know. Interesting. Rocks. What? <laughs> Wait, what's the timer for? Wait, is that why the mom said? Is he unlucky or something? He's unlucky, I think. That's interesting. Oh no, he's going to poop. Oh no. Ah, run! Yeah, he's very unlucky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, he's late. Ah, there she is. <laughs> Look at him run. Okay. I'm guessing there's other side to her, her from the summary. Like an idol. Well, obviously, she has bright pink hair. <laughs> Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, his hair is still. I'm used to it. Hmm. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that's why trucks as well. You need to be careful of. Oh my god. Yo! Um... Oh my god, that look! Yo! <laughs> Yo, that look! Alright, I understand. I understand what he's trying- Okay, that's what it is about. Okay, the other side or whatever. So, okay. So he's- she's basically- Like, you know, what can I say? Like, cool, you can say, yeah, 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 like that type of a thing, like usually she's cute but then like you know there's times when there's like a cool side of her that comes out okay all right this opening is pretty nice whoa this opening is really good Yo, that's Kino's journey's reference, isn't it? I think so. Wow, this opening is insane! Yo, I think this is my most favorite opening out of all the openings I've seen in, in this season. This is a really good opening. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting an opening like this. Hmm. <laughs> you do me son. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, they're going to change uh classes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at this one. Oh, she's okay. She has bad eyesight. Oh damn. <laughs> uh, is she there? Alright, she's there. Or is it the same class? Okay, there you go. She can't properly see. Yeah. <laughs> The animation seems nice, the visuals also seems really good. Oh my god. Neko, that's her name? 
Hachimitsu. So honey and cat. Hachimitsu is honey, isn't it? Inuzuka, dog. Wow, what are these? Okay, these names are interesting. Hmm. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Mmm, yeah, they'll be juniors. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, he kind of did. Okay. What? What? Ha what happened? Oh. Wait. What? Oh my God. How is that even possible? <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Clean it up. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, he's unlucky. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. And here we go. Um. Well, I'm sure they don't. They don't have any bad intentions in mind. But still, it's, it seems very wrong. The way they are talking about it. Uh, okay. Well, obviously. Oh no. Oh! Yeah. Mm. Let's be kind to each other. No. Yeah. He. <laughs> yeah. He. Like. I feel like he's. Heard a lot of these things I'll buy from a lot of people and uh, because of his you know misfortune I'm sure he's heard the same thing from a lot of people before hmm <laughs> All right. Oh, they're also going. Huh. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you know what? She, he is okay. This girl has a very cool hairstyle. I know that her hairstyle is. Two or three times. Hmm. Oh, he's, she's getting ready. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> High definition. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> ah. Oh no, I f <laughs> I f <laughs> I feel like something's going to happen like because of his misfortune. The ball might come flying on towards his face or something. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah, bad. That's the bad. <laughs> she can't even move with it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, what's she going to do now? Oh, wow. Oh! <laughs> or maybe she, she'll... A strike, it's a strike! As long as it works. <laughs> Alright, it's her time. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh no. My god, his luck is Diver sun song. <laughs> no, I, I feel like she's going to do the reverse. She she'll try to I, I don't know. <laughs> mm. There you go, oh, yeah. There you go. She's going to give it her all. <laughs> Strike! Ah! Damn! Wow, okay. Well. Neko's like, what the hell? I said it, said her to do the reverse, and she just, wow. <laughs> Total victory. <laughs> All right, okay. She can help him out. Oh, okay. I thought she was going to help him out to score a strike or something. What happened to Hachimitsu? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. 
No. Nie. Hmm. O, oh, be careful of the cars. She's, she's, she's walking on the outer side. That's why she's walking. <laughs> oh, this time it's a newspaper. It's it's her um, sixth sense or whatever you call it. Now, instead of sorry, say thank you. Yeah, I think that's. Oh. Uh, I'm sure it is probably a little bit. Oh my god. Whoa! Damn, her kick! Hehe! <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> well, obviously, this is the best timing, I think. Hmm, <laughs> sus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, is this this is the ending I'm guessing? Yep. Okay, that was a really good start. I I I like it. Okay, this ending is also really good. Oh, she's she's protecting him from all everything. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, she missed one of them. I saw that. Oh, no, 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 she did not miss it. She protected, okay. Oh, it's, it's getting harder. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay what a cute start okay i i love that now okay this is really good
so uh, this show okay the first episode mm, it was a fan it was a fantastic okay uh, start so first of all i one thing i need to take what's the studio which studio is animating this i i, I love the visuals uh let me check I love the visuals, the, like, you know, like, obviously there's a slice of life, there's not much, like, you know, like, in animation, but the visuals are stunning. What is Doga Kobo? I've not, never heard of this before. Okay, it, um, no, oh, it did a monthly, uh, uh, Girls no Sakikun, I think that's the name, Plastic Memories, Umaru-chan, Gabriel Dropout, uh, oh, Dumbbell Nankilo Moteru, Okay, these, these, oh, Senpai Gauzai, okay, uh, that's why I was like, I, I, I kind of like, you know, like feel like I've seen this type of an art style and this type of an animation before. Uh, Senpai Gauzai, it, it, it's a recent one, so yeah, I remember that art style. Alright, so these are the ones, okay, so um, I've watched <coughs> Senpai Gauzai uh, Kohai no Hanashi, you know, like on my own before, and uh, uh, the animation and everything was really good. So I'm guessing we're going to get uh, like, you know, that type of uh, uh, Animation like, you know, here down the road as well and uh, the first episode showed that it was it was stunning the visuals were stunning and uh, Like yeah, I, I really like you know nowadays that size of life animes are also getting such high quality animation It's really looking good and I love it like you know like for like, you know, like for example Nagatoro and then um, this one, and then a few others as well. Uh, I just got like you know, like Komi-san, and like just like the animations are stunning nowadays, like for slice of life animes, and I'm really glad about that. Mm, so okay, um, enough about that. This episode, uh, the first episode, we meet uh, a few characters. Uh, the first character uh, is ca called his name is you know what? Let me bring out uh, the character. Eat or whatever uh, okay uh, the first character uh, the main guy his name is Izumi Yu all right uh, I'm going to uh, list the characters first uh, then obviously we met the mom and the dad uh, we met Shikimori uh, then uh, we met Shikimori's two friends uh, Nekozaki and Hachimitsu now it's interesting like you know like these like you know characters their names are like you know like has like have like a what can I say? For example, Nekozaki, her name obviously Neko means cat, it has like a cat in it. Uh, while Hachimitsu, Hachimitsu I think literally means honey. So her name means honey. And uh, Inuzuka, Inu means a dog. So like you know, it's interesting to see like you know, all these friends that their name are actually something like you know, like there's like a cat and a dog and like a uh, Hachimitsu honey. Like interesting. Now. You know what I'm thinking now? I'm going to make a prediction here. Um, I might be completely wrong. I might be completely off the, like, you know, like, what can I say? But I'm going to make a prediction here. Uh, since we can see that there's like two main characters here, like Shikimori and Izumi, both of them are already couples. And there's like, you know, uh, another guy here, another boy who is Inuzuka. Um, I'm obviously I'm going to guess like sometime down the road. No, I'm not sure if, if like it's going to be in the anime or maybe in the manga in the future. I'm sure somewhere down the road uh, we're going to uh, like you know focus on their side characters as well and we're going to when we're going to do that uh, maybe we're going to see like you know the uh, Inuzuka like you know like start liking one of the girls that we already have been already have met I'm guessing that will be Nekozaki you know why because <laughs> his name has Inu or dog in it and Nekozaki's name has Neko in it or cat so I don't know why, but I feel like these two are going to somehow, like, you know, going to have like a thing or like, you know, they're going to like each other or something's going to happen. Now, this is a complete guess. I don't know what's going to happen or maybe I don't even know whether the um, anime is going to anime or the manga is going to focus on the side characters uh, relationships or not. I don't know. But a lot of size of life kind of does that, you know, for example, Senpai Ga Usai um, that had like the main two couple, uh, you know, those two. Uh, and then there's like the side like you know story where there's two of them who liked each other like you know there's like a side relationship as well but, um, between side characters so uh if that happens here i'm like you know my guess is inuzuka and nekozaki are going to get together because of their names you know like one has a dog in the name and one has a cat in the name so <laughs> 
you know, and again, as I said, this is a complete guess. I don't even know whether the anime will do that or not. Anime or the manga, if it, like, you know, if, if something like that is there, but we'll see about that. I'm, I'm making this guess now and I'll see, you know, in the future, how it goes and what happens. So anyways, uh, enough about that. So these are the main casts. And uh, <laughs> so, okay. Uh, okay. What was the guy's name again? I forgot. Uh, Izumi. Okay. Izumi Yu. So, uh, okay, I'm going to call him you. That's like you know, that's uh, more uh, easier to remember. You, uh, he, we see him coming down at first. Like you know, the mom is there, the dad is there, and uh, he like kind of <laughs> kind of sloppy in his job. Kind of you know, like his hair is kind of like you know, just untidy and everything. Her mom, his mom, kind of fixes it. And then when he leaves, that was like the most confusing moment ever. I'm like, why is her mom, his mom telling him to be careful of rocks? Okay, cars I can understand. Rocks, cars, and what did she say? Just a sec, let me check. Roof tiles. I'm like, what is she saying? Is, is she that type of a character who's like kind of, you know, like ditzy, like that type of a, like, you know, is that like her personality? And uh, I was very confused. And then they set up a timer. I'm like, what the hell is happening here? And he trips on a rock. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's why the mom was saying all of this. And uh, that's when I realized like she's he's probably unlucky. And uh, oh my god. And then like you know, one after the other, it comes first the truck or whatever just threw smoke on his face. The the crow like you know <laughs> poops on him almost, and he trips and falls. Even within like you know, among all of that. He finds his way and tries to help out an older lady who's crossing the road, uh, which shows like he's, he's like very nice and a very uh, good-hearted person. And uh, yeah, he runs uh, to the meeting point where Shikimori is waiting. And uh, here we go. We at first glance we she Shikimori is very cute, you know. Like she's like, oh hello, how are you? Like have you been waiting? No, no, I'm, I'm just here. Something like that. She kind of says and uh, everyone's just staring at her and everything and uh, okay where is that part uh is it here it comes a little bit later okay um yeah so <laughs> like we see like you know like there's like a, like she's like a very cute bubbly type of a character and when uh you is uh, walking with her to school he says like oh my girlfriend is very cute but and then the truck comes and uh, like you know truckoon was almost going to <laughs> he's a <kind. laughs> but unfortunately truckoon's you know like ploys it it was destroyed uh, because shikimori was there she just jumped <laughs> and saved you and uh, oh boy the the face she made at that moment and i was like okay i understand what like you know like what is this and uh, that's when i realized so basically this is like she's like a cute type of a girl and we can see the um, guy is like you know very unlucky in most of the situations so it will be her trying to help him out and while doing that you know like she'll look extremely cool something like that you know and we're going to see like you know like a cool side to her and uh, yeah so <laughs> that's I, I that's when i realized what's happening and okay and uh, the summary kind of gave us that summary but you know like they, they kind of i think like they did not put the full thing they said that uh here we go uh cool oh no they, they said it okay in the summary as well but she has a cool dark side that comes out under the right circumstances right circumstances this part like you know this part was like a little ambiguous because we did not know what right circumstances but now we know like whenever izumi is in uh, danger like you know his her dad part comes out whenever he, she tries to save him the opening was fantastic i loved the opening like not only the, like you know like the colors the visuals the 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 song the song was very good and uh, oh my god i feel like there was a few references just in there like you know just over there for example kino's journey if you've seen it and uh, the opening had a kino's journey reference to it and then there was like uh like a detective like you know part i don't know what what like you know what reference that was and then i think the uh, the other the, the other reference the another reference when she's shooting is that a princess principal reference because i'm not sure i've not seen that show 
Uh, but I feel like it might be a princess principle uh, reference because I've seen the visuals of it and it kind of seems like that. I don't know, or maybe it's something else. Then in the end, we get an Alice in the Wonderland, I think, that reference. So, yeah. Okay, now, another thing I kind of noticed in the opening, uh, the opening kind of gave us like a f full on summary as to what happened to her like i feel like that the, um, you got bullied or something in in her in his childhood or something like that and she probably helped him out or something i don't know like i feel like that's something like you know the opening kind of gave us like little bits and pieces of hints and i feel like this is going to be like sometimes it'll be it, this show is probably going to get a lot emotional like from the opening i could understand so that'll be interesting <clears throat> okay now <clears throat> then we move on to the school uh it's the second year i think second year yeah and uh <laughs> you is like oh i i hope like i'm with shikimori san in the same class and as always shikimori is again act like you know like her cool side comes out she's like oh even if you are not there i'm going to come like you know and and like you know, visit you in your class <laughs> okay and uh okay one thing we got to know here is shikimori is has a little bit of an eye like you know weakness or problem um so okay shikimori uses glasses only in classes uh izumi 2.0 visual acuity uh okay okay so uh yeah shikimori is a little bit you know uh i think farsighted yeah farsighted yeah farsighted um so yeah, I feel like, like I feel like nowadays, like, you know, especially because of internet and like you know, like everything becoming digital. I think everyone's like somehow like you know farsighted. Like you know, even I have glasses, and uh, <laughs> like I am also farsighted, and I cannot see things at a distance. Like, close things, it's easy. Like I can even like you know uh, take my glasses off to see something close. But far things, nah. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Um. So. Uh, they find out uh, Izumi obviously uh, uh, Shikimori isn't able to properly like you know uh, see what where her name is but Izumi kind of finds it out and Izumi is like oh we're in the same class <laughs> it's, it's amazing and just so happy and there we meet our like you know the, uh, Shikimori's friends and obviously Inui's friends uh, use friends as well that is <clears throat> Neko Hachimitsu and Inuzuka I think that that was his name? Uh, Inuzuka, yeah. Nekozaki, Inuzuka, and Hachimitsu. These three. And I have to say, these characters have some cool character design. For example, Neko, uh, Nekozaki's character design is very cool. I love her hairstyle, which is kind of, like, you know, kind of, uh, what can I say, roughly in, in this front, and then it's, it's like a long hair. Like, that's a really cool design. I don't remember. I can't remember. I've seen this type of a hairstyle before in some other characters, but I can't remember which character it is. Like, you know, uh, this hairstyle is, looks so familiar. You know, like it's kind of roughly and kind of like, you know, kind of elongated in the front and the, the, like, you know, long hair. I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, Hachimitsu, she, 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 her character design is also kind of interesting, I have to say. Okay, well, let me see. Where is she? Okay. All right. Um, her eyes. <laughs> it it has a weird um thing in it. Like you know, like whenever like you know characters kind of go full yandere. Whenever the like the way their eyes become, her eyes are like that. <laughs> but she looks cool, you know. And uh, and obviously uh, the final person, the the guy whose name is Inuzuka Shu yeah so inuzuka um he 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 also he has a little fang I, I see that now and he has like you know like a wait a minute is his voice actor just a sec oh my god i knew i've heard that voice actor somewhere before it's bakugo's voice actor I knew it. Okay, I was like, I, I feel like I've heard that voice before. It's Bakugo. Okay. And he also looks like Bakugo. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, damn, I've, I've, like, all the times I've, I've, I've all, always heard Bakugo being angry, you know, like, and I think Inosuke is also the same voice actor. Yeah. Inosuke. Yep, there. You know. 
Let me check. No. Or maybe not. Wait. Wait, Inosuke. I think Inosuke is the same voice actor. Uh, you know what? Let me check because this is bothering me now. No, they're different. Wait, what? Really? Oh my god. Wait, Inosuke and Bakugo have different voice actors? Okay, I, I learned something. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, never mind. I'm going to a completely different anime now. Um, so yeah. Um, anyways. Um, okay. So yeah, he he he's, he's Bakugo's voice actor, and he looks like Bakugo as well. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay, so Shikamori, uh, you is like, oh, I'm so glad we're together, and he she's happy and. <laughs> She's like, he's like, am I the only one who's so excited? And then he looks back and sees <laughs> Shikamori is also like, yes, I did it. <laughs> and yeah, that was a cute moment. Okay, so we get to the class and they kind of introduce themselves. Uh, you <laughs> bites his tongue while introducing. And oh my god, then like something happens in the, like, the later part where <laughs> someone was rubbing the board and the thing came off the duster weird stuff happened just started bouncing around here and there and it was falling on on his head and shikimori just stopped it and it came on her head it landed on her head <laughs> and then he kind of cleans it you know like that was that was again another cute scene and shikimori becomes extremely embarrassed she's like oh i'm, I'm going to the toilet and here like you know some uh, like something happens the classmates they are like oh like you know like don't you know like uh, don't make it more like you know troublesome for shikimori and so they're like oh what did she see in you now i'm pretty sure they meant no bad things like you know when, when, like you know that they, they had no uh like you know they didn't mean, mean any harm while telling this they was just talking i think in a normal way uh but you know what like you know i i, I feel like they should have actually like you know thought about how it would make him feel because uh, I'm sure he heard this a lot of times in his life. Uh, a lot of people might have told them. Even though these, uh, like, you know, these, these people, these uh, uh, students, these characters, they did not mean any harm while telling that. No. Uh, still, it, it, it kind of, I'm sure it, it kind of bothered him. Because it, it bothered him. Obviously, it bothered him. And uh, that's why, like, you know, like, as I, as, that's why you, can, you, you can't blame these guys because they, they didn't mean anything mean by that. They were just talking and they i feel like they're just like you know joking about it because one of them also says like oh i'm also not like you know anything special as well and he was kind of laughing um so yeah they were basically joking and then making like you know kind of conversing about the situation still you know like i feel like they should have thought like how it would make him feel uh but yeah i i i don't think that was any type of you know uh what can i say that was a bad situation but obviously shikimori just you know like shikimori kind of overheard that he came in and she's like oh like, you will you come with me and before going away like before leaving the classroom he gives them <laughs> that stare and just just smashes the <laughs> door on their faces uh. and she tries to tell uh, you that um oh don't worry you, you don't have to get bothered by that you know and you is like, no, nah, it's okay, it's fine. About what? Like, I'm not bothered. But, but it still was bothering him. We kind of get to know that in the end. Alright, then uh, the next part where uh, Inuzuka, that's his name? Yeah, Inuzuka. Inuzuka uh, invites him to go to the, like, you know, kind of hang around with him. So at first he was like, alright, so let, let me go and talk to Shikimori and tell her that I won't be able to go with her. And then all the other girls were also like, oh, let's go, let us go as well, because we we're also planning to go uh, together. So they kind of make a group and uh, yeah, go bowling. <laughs> now, here again, I, as I said, I made that prediction, you know, where um, I, I said that maybe, uh, I don't know if it happens, if the side characters also get into relationships and if there's like a love story for the side characters as well. 
I said like I, I said that Inuzuka and Nekozaki will probably become like you know like you know probably start liking each other get like you know like get into a relationship because their name literally means cat and dog so I feel like like you know that because of that like you know thing they, like they, there's a high chance of them getting together and I, again like you know we kind of see here as well like both of them have this kind of rivalry which can be said like you know like in a cat and dog rivalry <laughs> which is interesting okay so here yeah, uh, you is like oh i never came that much bowl to bowl that much do you have you come here before and she was like no one two or three times she kind of pulls her hair up that was like a high definition shot my god <laughs> that the shot of her nape <laughs> there was such a high definition shot that izumi got completely embarrassed and just left that place she's like just went to inuzuka <laughs> oh my god and okay the girls tell her that oh you should act uh, you know like cute like you know like kind of mess up deliberately and that will like make you look cute and <laughs> pretending to be bad at things kind of make i think they say that to <laughs> make girls look cute or something like that they say <laughs> oh my god uh, so she's thinking she's having second thoughts she's like maybe i should do it first uh, inuzuka goes uh, he does a pretty good job Mm, and Nekozaki also goes, but Nekozaki is a little bit like you know, f uh, what do you call it? Topples a little bit less pins. Um, <laughs> Hachimitsu, I don't know how she did that. She just wobbled all the way, just dropped it, <laughs> and it somehow like you know was a strike. And okay, all that happened, and then you had his turn and you was like all right let's do it at first you know like it was going pretty good then it diverted like i don't know what the hell there was like some kind of magnetic force or some kind of like, you know, force and just completely diverted the ball over there and yeah that like you know that gives us very good idea of how unfortunate he is like you know misfortune is just on his neck all the time it's just ready to pounce on him so I, I thought something bad might happen you know like since this is a like a bowling alley i thought like maybe like the bowling ball will like some other bowling ball will come flying to his face or something that'll be dangerous but thankfully nothing like that happened it, he was only lucky in bowling unlucky in bowling and that's how it went so you kind of see it again everyone kind of makes fun of him <laughs> shikimo is just giving them that stare you know like kind of looking at them <laughs> oh my god that was funny all right um so chikimo is like okay so should i act cute and fail so she thinks about it but then when you is like oh give it your best she's like nah let's go all out and she just like just she, she just this continuous strike back to back back to back back to back and <laughs> yeah she like you know makes like a perfect score and that was amazing and everyone like you, know, you was like oh you're so cool and yeah and then she kind of high fives him and he's like oh you're cute as well <laughs> and uh, yeah that's how it went so then they go back uh, you know they're, 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 they're like going back towards their houses um oh um you said like i should like you know treat you because that was the bet but she's like, nah, you, you, you come with me. You come with me to, towards my home. Like, that'll do. And, uh, oh my god, the, the whole wind is blowing. And she's walking on the other side, you know. And, like, protecting him. <laughs> Whenever, like, you know, flying cans or flying newspapers are coming. So, yeah. Now, <clears throat> here, obviously, like, like, you know this thing. Um, like... Like we're kind of like you know like having like kind of seeing this whole like cute, cute anime kind of like you know like laughing whenever these type of things happen a kind of like you know like it's a, like a comedy type of a situation and you know like like this situation is so light-hearted and everything like you know we as audiences are taking it as in such a light-hearted way but i feel like like you know like like just imagine what goes through his head like you know like he constantly have to like you know like always what can i say like, i have this type of negativity within him he has it that he cannot do anything for her 
you know like obviously like in all of the time like relationship is like a give and a take so it's nice that the like you know girl is like you know helping him out so much and everything uh, but at the same time i feel like he as a person feels very miserable you know whenever like you know he realizes that there's nothing he could do you know like you know, he there's nothing he could give back and i feel like that that shows like you know how much he likes him her uh, he likes her because like because he likes her that's why he's thinking he's feeling depressed and you know about the whole situation that she cannot do anything for her and at the same time this also shows how much shikimura likes him because she's doing so many things for him but not expecting anything back like like such what can i say like you know such such an interesting like you know like whole like you know like just like if you change perspective you know it, it's such an interesting situation like um he like you know, as he said like you know like he and and obviously a lot of people will talk about this you know like whenever they'll realize like this is happening they're always going to uh, talk behind their back and say like oh look at him you know, like he always so unlucky always making problem for her and uh, just you know they're going to talk behind his back and if that comes into his ears how much more like you know worse would he feel about the situation that's what basically happened in this episode and i'm sure he probably heard this a lot of times in his life not only because like you know like you know about shikim mori but maybe uh, some something else some other topic where someone said like oh look at him like he's always making problem for uh, for example parents like you know like someone said like oh look at him someone like always making problem for his parents someone might say this as well and i'm sure he has heard that multiple times previously and uh, how much bad that might make him feel so you know he he's someone like you know since he loves shikimori he wants to give something to her back and she's he's feeling miserable because he's unable to do so and like you know like you know reversely shikimori loves likes him so much and that's why she doesn't expect anything from him she only wants to as she said like you know when when uh, you says that uh, like shikimori san like you know i like you know, i can't do anything for you like at this rate i he was going to say and the the thing drops and shikimori just kicks it out <laughs> and uh, shikimori says like you don't have to do anything uh, you just stay by my side and that's all i want and that's what i'm saying you know like she doesn't want anything because she likes him that much she doesn't want anything in like you know in in return she just wants him to be there with him and i'm sure if the reverse was the thing you know if shikimori was um unfortunate and these things happened to her and you was like you know this type of uh, like you know person who, who just keep protecting her the same thing would have happened shikimori would have probably felt bad and thought that oh i'm i'm unable to give anything to him i'm only being protected and he would say feel the same thing about like oh i don't want anything in return i just want you to be there with me forever and uh, yeah like the same thing would have happened if the whole roles were reversed as well so but still i feel bad for him because like yeah this is like a mental thing you know like you know like it doesn't matter how much shikimori tells him that oh like, you know i don't want anything from him she he's obviously going to feel bad whenever situations like this arises because he he wants to do something for for her but he's unable to so i don't know like you know like this type of a thing like this, this is a very unfortunate situation for him and uh, it's nice that shikimori is there to like you know like help him out in situations like this and can be the moral support <clears throat> so <laughs> yeah and then he kind of says like oh i love you or something like that he says and she can just gets embarrassed <laughs> and uh yeah and that's very tense uh fantastic start i love this and uh as i said like you know, I, I love the fact that this is actually kind of like uh like you know like where um like the, the girl has like this like this type of a cool side always like you know protecting him and he is you know like just just such a what can i say like such a such a nice like you know such a honest such a uh like you know soft-hearted person and like you know like even when in his problems he tries to help others while she like you know she she's like <laughs> the person who protects him from the different things and whenever like someone says something bad about him or something she just just goes crazy and like you know like gives them that stare <laughs> that hate-filled stare 
and uh, yeah this will be interesting and, I, I, and from the opening i feel like this is going to get into the kind of emotional section as well because the uh, opening kind of gave us a lot of scenes which seemed a lot emotional so i'm looking forward to that so yeah so that's it guys that was my reaction to the first episode of uh, kawaii dake janai shikimori-san or shikimori is not just a cutie if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shikimori is not just a cutie so until then goodbye and have a nice day